Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I'm really excited because I have here these Impress Nails by Kiss. I cannot tell you how many times I have been stopped and complimented on these nails, and it literally takes me like 15 minutes to put them on, and it costs me about $6 for this beautiful holographic looking manicure. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the ones that I have on, put on a new set, review them in detail, show you how they work. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video, and if you do, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up, and if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. All right, guys, if you want to see how these nails get pressed on, then please keep watching. All right, so I think I've never done this before, but I think I'm going to shift my camera angle because I'm not sure how else this is going to work. But I do just want to show you, I have like a ton of these nails here. Can you see? I went a little bit nuts. This video isn't gonna be sad, but if you did see my last video, it was about my grandmother's passing, and one of the last things that she said to me was like, oh my God, your nails look so pretty. So I reached out to Impress just to find out if this particular shade is going to be like in line or if it's limited edition, and they did say to stock up on what you love because whatever styles they put out should always be considered limited edition limited edition because they are constantly changing their nails and changing their sets to keep up with trends. So Walgreens is having a sale right now. I don't know how long it lasts, but it's buy one set of nails, get the next set free. No, get the next set 50% off. And the Gold Digger set, the one that I just showed you, that is $6.99. I have seen pricing vary from store to store. Like in CVS, I think they're about $7.99. Walgreens, like I said, is $6.99. I've seen them in Walmart for $5.99. Um, Amazon, I think, is probably one of the most expensive places I've seen Kiss, and not all retailers have the same styles, so just keep that in mind. Target's also $5.99, but limited styles. So let me go ahead and shift things around and show you how I take these off. I think I might... I'm not sure if I want to put this style back on because we're going to Disney with the kids and let me explain here in a second. Let me switch things up here. All right, you guys, so here is what the nails look like on up close. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up, but I've had these nails on now for nearly two weeks. Yeah, about two weeks. And this particular style, this holographic style, the finish kind of starts to not peel, but kind of fade away in an area as you'll see black, but you really have to look hard for that. So it doesn't bother me. Part of this happened, I was changing the sheets on Grayson and Parker's bunk bed. So that's when I kind of noticed it the most, but that's the only reason why I might not put them back on right now like this particular style because we're going to disney we're going to be using sunscreen so i'll have to let you know maybe i'll kind of play around with sunscreen on the nails and see how that holds up but this is after nearly two weeks of wear i mean i have done you know legit holographic manicures with the gel and the chrome powder and it does the same thing and it doesn't last nearly as long. So that's what those look like. One thing I noticed as I was on the hunt for these, this particular style, like I don't know if you can see, they kind of vary. Like some, the majority of them look like this, but some of them have a little bit more of a blue reflect. So they're not all exactly the same. So just to show you some of the styles I got, this one again is Gold Digger. This is called My Shiro. I've only seen this one place. I don't know, I might do this one today because I just, I like the chrome detailing, but I do like this baby pink color. I think it's really pretty. And then this is called Unexpected. It's like this matte rosy color with then this cool little detail nail. This was the other one I was thinking I might put on. I just don't know if the nail color, like this shade, is too close to 
my skin tone if I'm gonna look like severely washed out by it but I'm loving the mattes I've always wanted to try like a matte manicure and I really like this one like I don't know if I would use these I don't know we'll have to play around and then these are the what is this called claim to fame which is a matte black with this cool holographic accent. And I've only seen one of these. I thought this was really pretty. It's like a white holographic chrome. And this is in Symphony with a white glitter accent nail. And this is like a nude pink matte basically with like a pale pink holographic accent nail. And these ones I've been eyeing because I'm like, I really do like this color. I think it's really pretty and that's just kind of a fun little accent all the rest are gold digger like I could just keep piling and piling them on impressed nails if you're watching I will always be obsessed with these because they're grandma Judy's favorite you guys I can't decide this is actually what I go through when I'm getting my manicure like picking out the color it's like, come on, big life choices here, not that big of a deal. Maybe we should eeny, meeny, miny, mo for it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so this one. All right, so this one is shocking. This one was called Bells and Whistles, by the way, because I think I forgot to tell you the name, Bells and Whistles. And this one was so, so stellar. Let's go ahead and remove these. So when you get the set, it comes with a little thing here to push your cuticles back and then this thing to kind of buff and file out the tops of your nails before you put the nails on but I have decided I kind of like to use this to lift the nail a little bit so and these are still on like pretty good then I've lifted up all of the sides of the nail I'm just gonna get some nail polish remover the box says to use acetone nail polish remover but I've been using non acetone because that's what I have and it's been working just fine just make sure it gets like under the nail that's why I like to lift it up first and let that sit while I do this side nail polish remover now I've also found just kind of like pushing backwards if that makes sense I don't know if you can see it kind of loosening the gel that way or the glue I should say You always wanna go from one side to the next. And if it feels like it's still on there pretty good, you can always add a little bit more. Oh, I know you saw that. And you can, I can already feel it. You might not be able to see it, but I can already feel it loosening up that glue. There we go. So now I want you to be able to see, like it's not lifting my nail. Like this glue, I don't know how they do it, but it's really thick, so it doesn't, hurt the nail. All right, so now with some nail polish remover, the glue will come right off. I don't know if you can see, but it's like the longer you let the nail polish remover sit on this, the easier it is to come off. So we're just gonna, I mean, this, this one's basically off already, but we'll just leave what's left on there and I'll come back to it. That one slid off, see? We'll let some nail polish remover sit on this glue. Now that I've basically gotten all the glue off, I'm just going to file what is left the little bit of glue away because I'm going to put on my next set anyhow and when you scuff them up a bit like this 
they stay on, like the nails, the next set will stay on so much longer. And this is what it looks like. Let me just separate these right here. And then you go through the sorting process. And this prep pad is basically alcohol. So once I've sorted the nails and picked out the ones that best fit my nail size, I will wipe down my nails with the alcohol. This removes all of the oils, lotions, anything like residue that might be on your nail beds. And it allows the glue to stick to your nail better and it keeps the nails on longer. They do recommend, and I agree, starting with the outside of pinkies, moving in towards the thumb. just like that we are donezo this is the final look as you saw close up i do apologize if the lighting changed or it looked a little bit wonky my camera i had it like pointing down like this and it just kept the tripod just kept going and i kept having to catch it and reposition it and this video is hopefully not a complete and utter mess hopefully you get the point because i really am obsessed with these nails i think they are so time saving i think they are so budget friendly and they don't ruin your nails the way my nails got ruined with both acrylic back in the day and these powder dips i want to mention that i have two little boys if you don't follow my channel they are three and four years Years old I am constantly doing dishes laundry I'm still changing my three-year-old's diaper we're working on that but the point is my hands are always getting wet between the baths and everything like that and these nails stand the test of time changing the sheets on the bunk bed like I already mentioned these are high quality nails I don't care that they're from Walmart or Walgreens drugstore I mean I stand by them so I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed I hope you will consider subscribing before you go thanks for that and I'll catch you next time bye